Hello, I'm Dr. Patrick O'Shaughnessy, Catholic Health Services of Long Island's Executive Vice President and System Chief Medical Officer. Welcome to Dr. O's Health Tips and Solutions. My goal is to bring you information that will help you live a healthier life. Today, we will be discussing the dangers of undiagnosed high blood pressure, which occurs when the force of your blood pushing against the walls of your blood vessels is consistently too high, a condition that affects approximately 30% of the adult population. Elevated blood pressure can cause hypertension, putting a person at risk for heart attack, stroke, and congestive heart failure. As with all of my tips, I'd like to offer one great source of truth, and this one is from the U.S. Services Preventive Task Force at www.uspreventiveservicestaskforce.org. On their site, if you search for high blood pressure screening in adults, you will find a detailed outline of their screening recommendations. To function, the body's tissues and organs need the oxygenated blood. Each heartbeat pumps blood throughout the body's circulatory system, creating blood pressure. This pressure is comprised of a systolic blood pressure, where blood pressure from the heart is pushed into the arteries through the circulatory system, and then diastolic blood pressure when the heart rests between beats. If either of these forces are not functioning properly, then steps must be taken. But how do you know if you have high blood pressure? What are the signs and symptoms? High blood pressure or hypertension is dubbed the silent killer for a reason. Many times there are no signs, no symptoms. Normal is defined as a systolic, that's the upper number, of less than 120 with a diastolic or bottom number of less than 80. High blood pressure stage one is 140 to 159 systolic and 90 to 99 diastolic. A hypertensive crisis requiring immediate emergency care is higher than 180 systolic and higher than 110 diastolic. This is yet another reason it is critically important that an annual physical be conducted. Only a healthcare professional can diagnose this potentially deadly disease. With high blood pressure serving as a primary or contributing cause of death for more than 362,000 Americans, the USPSTF recommends screening for hypertension in adults 18 years of age and older. The screening has little harm and offers numerous benefits. Expanding upon the guidance, the USPSTF further examine the diagnostic and measurement accuracy of various blood pressure monitoring, along with methods used to confirm hypertension. Their conclusion? Screening and treatment of high blood pressure in adults reduces the incidences of cardiovascular events, causing few major harms, and the net benefit of screening is substantial. You can find more information about the USPSTF screening guidelines at www.uspreventiveservicestaskforce.org. That's my tip for today. For more health information, watch CHS Presents Health Connect, airing on Catholic Faith Network and CBS TV 55. To view recent episodes, go to CHS's YouTube channel.